Hi, I'm Jimmy Chang. I'm a math expert from St. Petersburg, Florida, and we are here to talk about how to calculate the decimal exponents. All you need for this exercise are a pen or pencil, piece of paper, and definitely a calculator, either scientific or graphing, will do. Now, it's a pretty straightforward process, so let's get to it right now. Now, when your exponents are integer, as in whole numbers, for the most part, it's pretty straightforward. Let's just say if you have 3 squared, that's a pretty easy one to figure out because, you know, 3 squared is 9. Or even if you have a negative integer, for example, if you have 2 to the negative 3, using the negative exponent rule, you could rewrite it as 1 over 2 to the positive 3, and you know that's going to be 1 and 8 at the bottom. So 2 to the negative 3 is 1 eighth. But what happens when you have exponents that are just that, decimals, non-integers? Suppose you want to find out 4 to the 2.3. That's a little difficult to kind of figure out in your head, head or by hand, so that's where the calculator comes in. Now one thing that you want to think about is on any calculator that you have, you want to look for either the y to the x button, which is in most scientific calculators, or the caret button, which looks like this. That's what you want to shoot for. Now in the example that we'll be using, we have the caret button as the exponent key. So we're going to find out what 4 to the 2.3 is going to be right now. So you do 4 and then you use the caret button and then just enter 2.3 and then you press either enters or equals depending on the calculator that you have and as you can tell it's going to give you an approximation. So let's just say this is approximately 24.25. Now if you wanted to you could have it do negative 3 to the 5.1 power. Now, if you're curious about that, you would start at parentheses, negative 3, and then raise it to the 5.1 power, which, as you can probably tell, says error, non-real answers. So if you want to find decimal powers, stick with positive bases, not negative bases, because if you have negative bases, you can have non-real answers, and your calculator doesn't like that too much. So let's try another example here. Suppose you have 5 to, let's just say, the negative 1.6. Now you know you're going to get some kind of an answer because the base is not negative. So you have 5, and then caret, and then negative 1.6, just like that. And you see a number, rightfully so, that's going to be an, a decimal answer, approximately 0.076. So when it comes to finding decimal exponents, it's pretty straightforward via the calculator. Just make sure that your base is not that of a negative nature, otherwise it'll give you an error message. So I'm Jimmy Chang, and that's how you solve decimal exponents.